Hello there, my name's Scott. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Joytech E Roll, which I've received from www.vapor-sig.dk. Before I start, though, I must point out I did receive a free of charge for purpose of conducting a review. My opinion of product remains true, I'm just accurate as always. Okay, let's go straight ahead and show you what's in the box. Okay, so the Joytech E Roll comes in a nice little presentation box, and when you lift off the lid, Inside you're going to find sitting on top a 90 milliamp hour automatic battery, an atomizer cone and a blank cartridge. Just below that you're going to see the PCC. Now PCC stands for Portable Charging Case. And basically it's a case that will store and hold your electronic cigarette but also charge the battery for you at the same time. So now if you're going to be sort of going out for a day you can put this in your PCC, carry it around in your pocket and you haven't got to worry about battery life. Underneath this you're going to find a user manual, a spare 90 milliamp hour automatic battery, two atomizer heads, two spare cartridges, a USB charging cable and a USB mains adapter. Okay so I'll start off then by quickly showing you around the portable charging case. Now looks wise this is a really nice little PCC but it is a proper fingerprint magnet. Now I'd given this a wipe just before I started recording, you can see just how badly and how quickly the fingerprints get picked up. You have these uh, black sort of panes of glass and uh, the silver banding in the middle, so it does certainly give the impression that they get their inspiration from a very famous Apple product. On the base you're going to find a mini USB port, next to that a uh, charging status light for the 1000mAh internal battery, and next to that, a charging status light for the E-Roll battery. To open it up, you've just got to place your finger underneath the, uh, the little arrow direction there and lift open the lid. And inside, you're going to find a charging space for the E-Roll. Now, one feature I really like about this portable charging case is that you don't have to unscrew the battery from the atomizer in order to uh, charge up the battery. So you can just take your E-Roll, all fully assembled, drop that in there, press it down, and that's it. It's going to start, uh, start charging. So it's just a nice little feature I thought was uh, really cool. Here you have a button, and for ages I didn't think it actually done anything. Now I pressed it one day, and if you look at the side here, you can see it just uh, raises up the E-roll slightly, so I can just make it a little bit easier to uh, take out. Now I think they have dropped a little bit of a faux pas with this portable charging case, though, as nice as it is, and that is there's no extra storage space for more uh, cartridges. Not too worried about carrying a spare battery because obviously the battery is you know, being charged, that's the whole idea of the portable charging case. But these tank cartridges only hold 0.2 millilitres of e-liquid. And for you know a heavy vapour, that's probably about a minute's worth of vaping, which isn't particularly great. So if you're going to go out with this in your pocket for the day, you are going to need to carry around spare cartridges as well, or a bottle of e-liquid to uh, top it up or refill it. So having sort of three extra spaces here for more tank cartridges would have definitely been a nice addition. Okay, so the E-Roll is basically made up of four parts. You have the tank cartridge, which like I said, only holds around 0.2 millilitres of e-liquid. You then have the atomizer head, the atomizer cone, and a 90 milliamp hour automatic battery. Now the battery doesn't have a regular sort of 510 threading, so you are going to be limited to using just the, uh, the specific sort of atomizer heads that come with the E-Roll. And the tank doesn't come with any e-liquid in it, they are empty tanks, so you will need to fill those up. But it's a you know, very simple process, you've just got to take a, a bottle with a needle on it, stick it in there, give it a squeeze, and that's it, it's all full up. So to assemble it, you've just got to take the atomizer head and uh, drop that into the battery. Then you've got to take the atomizer comb, and just line up the two little dots on the side with the slots, and uh, give it a twist. And then just uh, push the cartridge into the top, and that's it, it's all fully assembled. Okay, so that is the E-Roll. Let's go ahead and see what it vapes like. Okay, so that was the Joytech E-Roll, and what I'll do now is go ahead and show you an action. Now, like I said in the close-up shots, it doesn't come with any e-liquid, so I filled this up with my own 18 milligram strength menthol flavoured e-liquid, which is just a PG e-liquid. I know I normally use a, a PG tobacco flavoured e-liquid, but I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit rough at the moment, so I'm gonna get on the old menthol and hope it will uh, perk me up a little bit. So this is the uh, joy to see. Now 
And as you can see, you now considering it's only a little tiny sort of cigar like vapor production on it is actually a really good. Now at the moment, because I'm feeling a bit Tom Dick, I can't really taste much apart from obviously like the menthol. This is quite a strong menthol, but uh, when I was feeling a little bit more on top of uh, top of myself, now the flavour on these uh, tank uh, atomizers or the tank cartridge and atomizer combination, now I didn't find to be sort of not bad really. Normally the uh, like the tanks do sort of subdue the uh, the old flavour a little bit. <coughs> excuse me, but you know I'm still getting a very nice amount of flavour. Not quite on par with something like your Genesis style atomizers, but that's obviously got to be expected because it's not one of those. But nevertheless, so you know, the amount of vapor you're getting and the amount of flavour for me is more than satisfactory. More than satisfactory. And when it comes to the throat, I'm getting a really nice, um, strong kick in the back of my throat there. Even more so at the moment, because like I said, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. And with the menthol as well, you know, it really does give you that extra sort of kick. But, you know, when I was, again, feeling on top of myself with uh, just my regular e-liquid, still getting that really nice, uh, strong kick in the back of my throat. Obviously, when you start coming on to the, uh, the battery life, that's when things will start going downhill a little bit because you know it is such a tiny little battery, and you know beginners mainly want something that's going to sort of look and resemble a real cigarette. And the downside of that is is that obviously the smaller the uh, the battery, the uh, the shorter the battery life basically. <coughs> so if I was just going to sort of vape this now, you know I could probably I could probably do it in about an hour, probably even a little bit less than that because it's only a 90 milliamp hour battery, but. The whole purpose of these is that you've got that portable charging case, and I can't stress that enough. Every time you finish having a vape, put it into the charging case. When you next go to have another vape, that's it, you've got a fully charged battery again. So if you're just gonna you know, go out of the house without your PCC, you're gonna be very disappointed. If you go out of the house with your PCC, you haven't got to worry about battery life at all. So even though the battery is you know, obviously a small battery and a very short battery life, don't sort of see that as too much of a downside because you've got your portable charging case Whack it in there each time you finish vaping and you've got nothing to worry about. I just remembered actually, I think this um, e-liquid as far as I can remember is actually a 70% PG and a 30% VG. So. I did tell a little bit of a porky pie at the start of this, so this is a 70-30 mix, as far as I can remember anyway, but uh, you know, still chucking out the old paper. Uh, the automatic switch on it, very nice and responsive, you know, you don't get any sort of um, misfires or anything like that. every time you take a drag, the old LED lights up and it uh, works an absolute treat, so I've got uh, no complaints at all about the automatic switch. There is a, I think it's about a 10 second cut off, which means you can take a 10 second long inhale if you wanted to, but then after 10 seconds it will start flashing at you. Um, I did try doing a 10 second inhale before this review. Normally I probably could sort of demonstrate it for you, but uh, at the moment I just know there's no chance, so you just have to turn my word for it. Now, overall, it's a really nice vape, you know, considering like the size and what have you. But, you know, it has got some downsides. One, the PCC could really do is some extra storage space just to sort of carry, even just like, you know, two extra uh, tanks filled up with juice. Because otherwise, you know, you're going to be having a vape and like, this is full up. And, you know, I've done half of it just in this review. <coughs> you know, so, you know, if I carry on vaping for another sort of 10 minutes, that's it, I'll be filling it up again. Another sort of maybe 10, 15 minutes worth of vaping, fill it up again, you know. So uh, you could do with some extra cartridges there. And uh, also one other thing that I find really annoying is that on the battery, you've got this uh, little, you've got the air hole. And because of the size of it, 
quite often the way I'm holding it like a like a traditional cigarette you now you end up actually covering the air hole and uh, so you do have to be sort of mindful of where you're actually holding it but uh, you know other than that you know as long as you're prepared going in knowing full well that you are going to have to be sort of topping up sort of fairly often especially if you're like a, a medium to heavy vapour then uh, you know I think most people would actually like it because it is like I said a very nice little vape And you know, rather than sort of carrying spare cartridges around with you, if you've just got a little, one of those little bottles with a needle top, if your PCC in your pocket with a little bottle, take it out, quick squirt, put the, to uh, the tank back on now. Takes probably, you know, two seconds to do. So it's not too much of an issue uh, for me personally, anyway. I've come to the uh, <coughs> come to the scores in. Uh, for the looks, you know, it's it is what it is. It's quite a nice looking little. Uh, you see, got a bit of black, a bit of gold. Give it a seven, I suppose. Uh, for the um, for the vapor production, I quite happily give it an eight. It's you know it's producing plenty of vapor, even though this is a little bit of P, a little bit of VG in there, which is obviously sort of giving it a little bit more. It still is a uh, you know pretty good for well actually it's not pretty good. It's very good for vapor production considering it's a little size. So I'll give that an eight. Uh, throw here again, a really nice strong kick in the back of the throat. That'd be another eight. Battery life, you know, I'll have to base it on the battery here, and you know it'll probably be. You know, a five, and that's been quite generous. But don't let that put you off because you have got the portable charging case. Uh, switch, no, it works great, no problems whatsoever. So I'll have to give that a ten out of ten. You know, if you do a uh, fancy uh, try one of these out for yourself, then go along to vapor-sig.dk. Thank you very much for watching, and also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e-sig-reviews.com. Cheers, guys. Happy vaping. See you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.